Hey everybody, what's up? And today I'm very excited because I have two boxes right here in the studio from shop.lego.com. And these are very, very big boxes. If you can see the comparison to a minifig down here, very big boxes. And then I also have a bag of stuff that I got from Andy's Brick Shop, which is a store in my local area that sells used Lego parts. And in this video, I'm going to be opening up the two boxes and one bag of Lego stuff and show all of you what I got. Let's begin. <laughs> So I'm going to start by opening up this box that you see on the screen right here because I believe that this is going to be not only the biggest but also the most exciting thing in the haul. So I'm just going to undo the tape right here so we can get a good look at what's inside. Like I mentioned in the beginning, this box is from shop.lego.com which as I'm sure most of you know is the official Lego online shop. So here we go, let's open this up and see what's inside. There's a ton of packing material. And the first thing we've got in here is this Lego Ninjago Zane Spinner from the new Ninjago Spinner sets. This is pretty cool. I've wanted to get one of these for a while now just to get the newest form of Spinjitsu. I'm just going to move the box out of the way because this is a huge box here. But that's the first thing I got. Pretty cool. I got Zane because I don't have many Zanes with the new face print. So that's pretty cool. Really looking forward to checking this thing out. I really haven't seen any videos online of this. So I'm not really sure what it's going to be like. Also in this box, I've got a bunch of these Ninjago, or not Ninjago, these Lego Movie trading card packs. So I believe I should have three in there, and I do. Then I also have the VIP exclusive collector's book of stuff. So this is going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to opening up these just seeing how they work all that fun stuff now the biggest thing that is taking up most of this box right here is this set this is the Lego Ninjago Monastery set the new legacy one and this is a really cool set and this is going to be amazing this is a pretty heavy box this set is an amazing deal for the $80 you spend this is definitely going to be worth the price I'm excited for it. Really, really cool. And then the other thing I have here is actually much smaller than I expected. This is the Year of the Pig set. But it's a very nice box. It's like a very sturdy box. I got this. It's the Lunar New Year of the Pig. It was celebrated last week. But yeah, just a fun little set. I wanted to get it. It's a cute build. And yeah, just really, really fun. So that's it for the first box. I'm opening the second box off screen here just because it is very big to fit into the studio and the first thing we've got in there is another one of these Ninjago trading card books. I'm kind of surprised they gave me two especially since I'd already done it but it says it's with orders over $15 so I'll have to find something to do with two of those and I also in here have three more of the trading card packs so I think that's pretty cool that's actually why I made two separate orders just to get more trading cards so I made a big enough order to get the year of the pig set with the first box. This second box was just the rest of the stuff I wanted with three more box training cards. So that's six in total there. Really looking forward to checking those out. Um, I do magic, so maybe I'll do something with them. If not, they're just cool to have. The next thing I got is another Ninjago spinner. This is the Golden Dragon Flyer. I never picked this up last year when it first came out and I really wanted to. I like just getting the Golden Ninja. And I, again, like I said, I want to have all the spinners. So. That's just that, another cool thing to get. I'm gonna try to organize this stuff somewhat decently. And then the last thing from shop.lego.com is this set right here, which is what I'm really excited about. This is the Lego City Burger Bar Rescue. This is just a really nice looking set. I usually don't buy that much city stuff, but just to look at the burger bar itself, this looks really cool. Really happy with that. I'm just looking at the back, looks really nice. I think the builds look fine and I'm really interested to see how the water blast feature works. So that is that, the main shop.lego.com stuff from the haul. So I think I'm going to move this stuff out of the studio to open up the bag from Andy's Brick Shop and then I'll close up the video. And lastly this third haul is a bag from Andy's Brick Shop which is a store in my local area that sells used, used Lego products. And the first thing I got there is the Lego collectible minifigure 
Cole from the Ninjago movie. As you can see, this was $6. I think it's a pretty good deal for this figure. This is pretty much the only Ninjago figure that I liked that I didn't get. And you can see a really cool tour printing on the back there. So yeah, really cool. I mainly got that one just for its hairpiece. But I'm going to find a use for the rest of it in the city somewhere as a minifig. Next up, I got two 16 by 16 Lego base plates. You can see right here. These were $3 each. And these are just going to be used for making more Lego mocks. As I mentioned in my New Year's resolution video, I just want to make more and more small Lego mocks for the city. So that's all right there. And then the last thing I have here is this bag here, which is full of all different kinds of Lego pieces. And if we just zoom in, I'm not going to open up the bag in the studio right now. But basically, I just stacked up a ton of blue one by bricks. And these are going to be used for the first of those little modular buildings that I'm going to try to be making again. I'm not really sure what it's going to be used for, but you can just see all the parts I got. I also got a ton of black Technic pins because I've just been really low on them. But yeah, that's really it for this haul from Andy's. So, small haul, the smallest of this video. But it's pretty cool and definitely some really useful pieces for me to use throughout my city. One last thing that I forgot to mention that was still in the bag is this. And this is a Lego pullback motor. This was in the bin of miscellaneous parts. I actually had this in the top of this bag. It just fell out in the way from getting it down to the studio here. But check this out. This is really cool. I'm really looking forward to doing something with this. It's a very old Lego motor. This is the old dark gray color, not the dark bluish gray. But yeah, it's a pullback motor. This thing's going to be really cool. Definitely looking forward to trying to build something awesome with this. And that is my Lego haul. I don't want the stuff from Andy's in the flaring right now just because I have to wash all that stuff and I'm kind of just going to keep it separate from the brand new stuff. But I'm really happy with this haul. The pieces and minifig from Andy's are great and I'm really excited to have the Cole minifig right here as you can see because I like that I'm going to be able to put his hairpiece on the new ones in the sets. That's part of the reason why I got this because this was the only one I didn't have a hairpiece for. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But just all these sets in general are really cool. I'm looking forward to the pig set. I think it's going to be cute. This is a really cool set. I really hope it is as good as I think it's going to be. And then I know I'm going to love the Ninjago Legacy Monastery. It's an awesome set. These spinners are going to be really fun just to play with and build. And I'm really interested to opening up these packs. They're pretty cool. want to see what's inside. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And let me know by leaving a comment what you want me to build with all the pieces I got from Andy's Brick Shop. Because I know I want to build a mock with it, but I'm not really sure as of right now what it's going to be. So if you have a suggestion, please let me know. I'm re really interested to hear what you guys want. That's going to be it for this video though. So thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll talk to you all again in my next video.